Yeah, so um, back to my review. As I said, like, you get this great moment in the film. Jeez, my hair is getting long. Where he's like, hello. He's like, Ugh. he's like, hi, David. He's like, the fuck are you doing here? He's like, oh, it's great to see you too and all that. And he's just sitting down and like, he's like, you're not real. It's like, oh, I am. And I'm dead. And you will be too. It's like, no, just come on. You got to do something for me. It's like, what? Kill yourself, David. It's like, no, 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 you can't. You're not real. And he's like, you killed me as a werewolf. He's like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I know. It's fine, David. You know, and like just the creepy smile, the makeup, like the dark sense of humor. That's like, oh, shit. It's really well done. And I just love the, the creepy aspect of it, the vibe and the sentence. Like, you just do it. He's like, no, you're not real. You're not fucking real. Please, please. And then like, I um, believe it shows up twice in the hospital or is it once? I was like, please, you're not real. You're not real. And eventually he's like, please help, help. And they're like, oh, what's that? Is that David? What's the matter? Is that David? And he runs in and Jenny Agatha is just like, David, David, so help me. My friend's here. And, and uh, help me. He's like, well, Jack, you're not there. And then she just, he's like, what? And then he just kisses her. And then he's like, who's there? M my dad, my, my friend Jack was here. He was talking to me. He's like, your dead friend Jack. He's like, yeah. Where do you have to stay in London? It's like, I don't know. It's like, would you like to stay with me? It's like, sure. So I love that like little aspect and like just the chemistry they have and the the way he decides to kiss her like a fucking player. It's just really well done. I think it's just a great moment. It's a cute moment and it's pretty unprofessional, but you can see that she's just aroused and enthusiastic about him when she meets him. Um. But they've they've great chemistry comedically, romantically, and um, you believe that they love each other and fall in love in such a short period period of time, even though it's under traumatic circumstances. And uh, that never works out. Sorry, I had to, I had to reference speed. I don't know, it just it popped into my head because that's a, a line in that movie which I've already reviewed. So yeah, um, but like Jack, every time he shows up, like looking all decrepit and shit, it's just brilliantly done. Um, it is just as I said it's just brilliantly done like he's like there in the bed with Jenny Agutter after having sex with her at night and one scene like later on when he's back at the house he gets up he's like ah goes in walks like looks in the mirror is just there and like it's brilliantly done and he's like ah and then David's more decrepit and I, I love I'm sorry Jack is more decrepit and I love how you know, each time he shows up, it's like, oh, fuck, you know, um, he looks all disgusting and shit, and you're like, what the fuck, it's like, hello, David, it's like, stop it, Jack, what the fuck are you doing, he's like, come on, it's great, it's like, you gotta do something for me, it's like, no, you're gonna do it, it's like, no, you're out of your mind, it's like, you know, you're gonna transform into a werewolf the next full moon, he's like, what, you know, he said that back at the hospital, and he says it again here, it's like, yeah, he's like, what, what are you doing, and he's like, She's pretty, ain't she? Sleeping. Like, get out of here. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. It's like, come on. And then he sits down down in the, the sitting room with him and all that. And he's just kind of like, she's great. And she's going to fuck her. It's like, you got to go here. It's like, no. You're you're going to end up hurting people, David. You got to kill yourself. To stop this werewolf. It's like, no, man. I don't have to do that. And it's like, yes, you do. It's like, oh, God. And like, it's the flesh falling off and the makeup and the back and forth and the way the camera kind of goes back and forth. It's just brilliantly edited as well so i love that and like yeah that's great i said like, please i can't do it. it's like yes you have to you have to david it's like i don't want to and all that and it's just this brilliant dialogue between them and it's fucking brilliantly written the dark humor the fucking um the dark humor and the fucking comedy and then like Jenny Agutter gets up it's like David David's wrong it's like nothing it's just talking to you like, so I don't know what's wrong with me I think I'm losing my mind like it's, it's okay David it's fine it's like I think I'm losing my fucking mind and all that stuff um I've seen Jack and she goes in it's like come on back to bed and all that and then I love the moment even in the hospital like I think I'm losing my mind doctor I'm losing my fucking mind it's like no you're not David and then they're ta he's talking I think he's a bit hysterical it's like oh is he yes I think you should go in and check on him and all that it's like okay yes doctor I will um but I love I love the realistic side of showing how to get him out and discharging him and all that. And the scenes at the hospital, as I said, are just very well made. They're very well written, very well done. 
Uh, I like the little setting that it's adds to the film, just the way the camera pans and you know, something about the hospital is great. Um so it's just brilliantly done, you know. Um So is my ass. Anyway, I fart was lovely. Um basically um geez, that f oh, it's fucking smelly. Jesus. Anyway, basically then, you know, you also have that scene, but like it's just uh I love that moment where David's like asleep, he's like, Oh god, no. And he wakes up and he get he's like he's like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. He's like, You better get some sleep there. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, well, whatever. Or just he's just not even there. He's like, God, what's wrong with me? What's happening? And he gets shots like at him on the bed and looking at the window, and then we just cut to this TV. And it's like, Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's the Muppet Show and a bit that takes place in America. Um, oh, it's like, yeah, it's like, you okay, David? It's like, oh, yeah, I am. And there's kids watching the Muppets. And it's like, oh, great. It's like, come on, who's there knocking at the door? And it's like, oh, I'll uh, get it. Get the door. Someone's knocking. It's like, all right, all right, I'm coming. And then, ah, and then there's these people with fucking masks. I'm shooting. It's like, ah, oh, shit, and all that. Like, no. Oh, it's like, no. And then gets to two kids. Like, no, shoot. Someone's like, no, no, no. And he wakes up and he's like, you're, you're awake. It's okay. It's like. It's like, are you okay? It's like, yeah. I had a nightmare. It's like, oh, okay. And all that kind of stuff. I was like, yeah, let's go. Or whatever. And then, it's like, do you want me to open the window? It's like, yeah, yeah, I will. And she opens the window, and then just out of nowhere, a brilliantly done jump scare to throw you off. Like, yeah, she gets stabbed. No, get stopped. No, 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 no. <gasps> Wakes up again. Like, oh, God. It's like, what's wrong? It's like, I had a nightmare. Nerd, you get killed. It's like, oh, God. Come in here. It's like, yeah, you, you'll you'll be okay, David. It's like, you know, you know, you gotta get some rest. It's like, oh, when am I getting out of here? It's like, please, like, you get out of here soon. It's like, okay, you know. And I love when they check on his wounds. Like, ah, oh, what is that? Ah, like, ah, oh, oh, you know. And he pl plays the having. He plays the pain of what's happened to him really fucking well. It's so well done and shit. It's like, yeah, get down. It's like, this is an animal, I'm telling you. And he's like, he's saying that some animal done it, like a wolf. It's like, there's no animals here. I couldn't have been an animal. It was an escape. And like, no, a man couldn't have done this. And all that. It's like, where's Jack's body? It's like, let me tell you, it's not a pleasant sight. He was torn up. It's like, it's not a pleasant sight. Mother, what the fuck? It, like, he can't, a man couldn't tear someone up. It's like, David, I don't appreciate your family. And I don't appreciate you speaking to me in that manner. It's like, I'm telling you. My friend is dead for Christ's sake. And you can see where David's coming from. And I love that conflict, that tension, that like realistic realism. And he's upset and emotional over his friend's death and feels guilty for it. And just the whole, because it's really graphic what fucking happened, you know. It's like, yeah, man, couldn't fucking do that. You, you assholes and stuff. Um, so I love that. I love that, those moments. Um. But you get those character moments. And, and it's great. Because, like, the movie manages to keep you interested way before the transformation scene even happens. Um, which is brilliantly done. I'll get to that in a second. But this movie's fucking amazing. Um, but you also have the scene where it's like, okay, he's got to go get his breakfast. Okay, and she's walking down or whatever. And then he's just there listening to music on his uh, headphones there. And then he opens the window, he's like, morning, or whatever. He's like, opens the window, he's like, you know, whatever. He's like, and he's like, hi. And it's like, do you want some breakfast? Like, what? You want some breakfast? Like, um, I'm not hungry, thank you. And he goes, you're going to have to eat, David. It's like, nurse, please call me, you know. And then earlier on, he's like, please call, call me, whatever. It's like, Mr. Whatever. And she's like, Mr. Thing, can you... uh? Tell me, he's like, please call me David and all that. And the other guy's like, Mr. Whatever. He's like, please call me David. He's like, please call me Ashley. Is it Ashley? Is it Ashley? Is it Ashley her name? I don't know. Anyway, so basically, it's like, I'm going to have to feed you. He's like, you have to eat something. It's like, I'm not hungry. I'll have it later. It's like, I'm going to I'm gonna have to eat something or I'm not going to be good nourished. It's like, no. It's like, am I going to have to feed you? And he's just like, He's just taking the headphones off. He's like, mm. it's like, there you go. It's like, why are you doing that? It's like, I'm going to have to feed you, David. It's like, come on and all that. And, you know, and it's just, they have great chemistry like that. Like a child's like, there you go. Do you like that? And then 
the consistency of like him coming in like we're gonna have to fuse like i don't want anything i'm not hungry and then waking him up early it's like hello david it's like oh come on do you have to wake up so early it's like brian it's like you got to wake up david it's you know it's late it's early and then you feel the frustration of him being in the hospital trust me i was in the fucking hospital and i know the frustration so i do love the realistic aspects like when can i get out of here and go like david you need to rest and you'll be discharged in four days but right now get some rest it's like oh, please when am i getting out of here it's like soon david you just have to be patient with me okay um so it's like okay so i love that like realism side of things i think it was really well done um and yeah that's it but no i'm joking um so I love that. Um, and then obviously, as I said, she, Jenny Agutter, lets him stay at the house. Um, which I love. I love that. Um, but, you know, I love all the scenes that take place in the house. Like, they're walking. It's like, where are you staying? You want to stay with me? And then they're walking through the streets of London like, oh, are you happy staying with me? It's like, this is just professional. It's like, oh, yeah, sure. I, I love the fact that I'm staying at your house. Like, it's great. Is this it? Oh, yeah, here it is. And it's like, make yourself at home. It's like, wow. It's like, here's this, the living room, the kitchen. It's like, whoa. Bathroom's like, ooh. This bedroom up here, up here. It's like, sitting room, dining room. It's like, oh, wow. And it's like, just this beautiful house, brilliantly shot walks up and is all like and the bedroom is like wait but there's only one bed and it's just a cute mom's like david i've got to be honest with you i find you extremely attractive <laughs> sorry um and she's like i find you very attractive and all this and he's like oh great it's like i've only had seven lovers in my life and i just think it'd be great it's like oh great so if you want to go and sh here's the shower room, oh great. And then you get that really nice moment between them, the kiss, and then he cuts them kissing, and then you get this kind of moment where they're in the shower together and they're making out, like, oh, let's go, and then they're washing. You see them making out and the shots of him washing and fucking feeling her, and they're having sex. You see her boobies, and they're, then they're like, F she's like, I've only had se before that, she's like, I've only had seven lovers in my life, but only two serious ones and all that. And then eventually they're just there fucking in the bed and they're like, yeah, titties! And you get to see Jenny I got his beautiful breasts. Um, and it's like, oh shit, I got his beautiful breasts. And it's like, oh God, yeah. And they, they fall asleep, it's like, great. And all that. And it's like, yeah. And then the next day it's like, okay, I'll see, I'll see you later, David. It's like, yeah, I'll go back to work. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. So we do get scenes of her back in the hospital. It's like, no, no, what, are you happy? And all that. And it's like, Oh, I have him here. It's going to be fine. It's like, where, where is David? And I was like, oh, he's fine. He's at home. It's like, I'm taking care of him. He's staying with me. He's like, oh, are you sure? And the guy's like, are you sure he's okay? He's like, oh, yes, he is and all that. And David kind of just wanders around the house a lot in the sitting room. And like, I, I believe there was another sort of scene where Jack is talking to him like, hi, David. It's like, God damn it, Jack. He's like, you know what you got to do? You got to do it, David. You must do it. It's like, no, I'm not seeing you right now. And, you know, you believe his emotion and how guilty he feels and how horrible the situation is. And it's just brilliantly done, as I said. Um, and it's like, no, please, you got to do it. And it's like, okay. So he's just doing different things around the house and stuff. It's like, when's the next full moon? It's like, oh, God. And he's like, Jack told me that the next full moon is this. It's like, oh, really? And all that. And he's like, and then even, like, when she gets up and they're like, David, who are you talking to? And he's like, I was talking to Jack. He was right here. It's like believable dialogue and stuff. It's like, yeah, come on back to bed. It'd be fine. And he, he, Jenny, I got her like, she actually cares about him like as well. Not just because he's hot but, and nice, but it's like she cares about him and she plays it so well when she sees him like, oh, you know. And I like that the main doctor actually gives a shit. You're like, is he going to be a douchebag? No, he's not. He's like, I gotta find out what's happening. I gotta go and travel all, all the way to find out where David is and all this, like where what happened to David and all that kind of stuff. And you're like, oh fuck, you know? It's like I gotta go. He's like, where is he? I don't know. Where's the pub? Is that okay? I, I'm not sure. Okay, well I gotta go travel there anyway. So he goes, gets in the car, drives off, and you do get a great moment. And you're like wondering when his transformation is build up, and it's just 
brilliantly fucking done. It's such a well-made horror film and it manages to balance dark horror, drama and comedy together. And in a lot of ways, it is a horror comedy. I mean, as I said, John Landis is... I've reviewed other movies that he's directed on the channel, Blues Brothers, Animal House, their comedies. And this is a horror comedy and he knows how to do it so well. You know, you get great shots of London and everything else and, you know, the hospital and it's beautifully directed. Like, and it's he's a director that can do a different style, like horror. So, yeah, horror. So, um... Let's go down to London. That's a uh, songs in the Conjuring too, isn't it? Anyway, so there's that. Um, but you also have um the opening of the film, and I love the way the movie opens up. I think it opens up in a great, unique way. You get like shots of like the fucking like countryside of England, and like kind of sheep gone past and just all the shots and all the like, you know the dull weather and the mountains and i really love that atmosphere it adds to the spookiness and horror of the film <clears throat> and i think is driving and all that and the guys are like all right lads here you are you just go there down the road that way and i'm like thank you thank you and the sheep got i was like okay it's like wow this is it this is england it's amazing it's like oh yeah absolutely incredible isn't it hold on jack you're not enjoying this, are you? It's like, oh, I'm not. We could have gone to Rome and got some the women. It's like, oh, God, yeah. And it's like the chemistry they have, you're like, yeah, they're friends. It's like, we could walk that way. And, you know, they're, they're just backpacking. Like, let's go this way. And then you get this shot there where they're walking down and, like, all that. It's just fucking beautifully done. It's like, yeah, we can go that way. Let's go to Rome. Okay, well, I promise we'll go to Rome after this. We're traveling around the world and do all that. It's like, okay, cool. So I love the, like, the traveling around the world part like they're, they're proper friends like let's go down they said follow the path go past the mirrors they're walking down it's like oh, come, okay come on so let's do it like this would be great and you get great shots of them talking and the dialogue's going on and the back and forth between them and i love the dull weather the mountains and just let's go down and walk down this kind of street and it's like it, it does remind me of places here like it, it does even like the countryside i love that setting it, it's creepy and it's like Horror films are great for that setting. It's like going down to this bar at night while the weather's like that. It's like, oh, there it is, the slaughtered lamb. We should go in there. It's like, yeah, and you see the slaughtered lamb, the shot. It's like, let's go in. Hopefully they got food. I'm starving, yeah, and drinking beer. It's an old pub. Let's walk in. Like, da -da -da -da. And you just see everyone there, British people, like throwing darts, doing things, like drinking beer at the, the tables. And one of the um, actors, actually, is Rick fucking male the late great rick male who is was in this british that was a nice fact was in this british comedy called Bo bottom which also had live shows there was also a bottom movie the hotel um he was in drop dead fred he's in a british comedy called man down with greg davis he's in an irish comedy called damo and ivor uh the fourth season yeah, he's in the fourth season of that. And he is in... He was meant to be in the first Harry Potter movie as Peeves. Well, he's in this, and you see him there like... Ugh. And then everyone's like, oh, yeah, that's great, that's great, yeah. And then they just walk in, and it's like, the woman's there like... Whoosh. And they're all just kind of looking at him, at everyone, and they're like, hi! So I sit down, what can I get you? It's like, well, I sit down, it's like, hi! And everyone's just there, the ball guy, and it's just this great shot of everyone, and the guy's throwing darts and it's like almost like that western because they're not locals but it's so fucking real that does happen real like not that i've witnessed it but it does happen apparently it's so common for some fucking reason it's like to a degree i get it but it's like eh, whatever and yeah, it doesn't happen everywhere it's like what can i get you oh do you have food it's like no we don't have food here how about uh some wine it's like no uh how about some coffee we don't have coffee we have we have tea but we usually don't have anything you want something hot we can get you tea but we don't usually say that it's like some tea please yeah please hi and all that and it's like wow this is a weird place it's like oh god you don't have food it's insane and you just see the brits kind of looking at them and that's probably not the right term to use i apologize and the ball guy and just this great sort of like um things like where are you boys coming from oh america it's like it's lovely it's like oh yes it is 
well, a film is here. It's like, oh, we've seen a movie here at once. It's, it's that the movie. It's like that's that one. It's like that's the movie we we saw once. It was very bloody, and it's like, it's like bloody awful if you ask me. <laughs> it's not about the one, <laughs> you know. That's bloody awful, and it's just that British humor, and they're gonna like what the fuck, you know. And I was like, there's your tea, thank you, thank you, and they're, they're drinking. Just before that, you get shot to this kind of, like, star culty thing. And, you know, you have that sort of, uh, like, what is that star? It's like, I don't know. It's like, and they're like, ha, 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 what is that star? And it kind of cuts, that cuts to that later on. And they're all looking, and the guy's throwing darts. Like, it shot, I love the shots of him throwing darts. And then he throws one and it fucking hits this thing, and he's like, you made me miss. I never miss. He's like, oh, that's not, you don't want to know that's dangerous there. It's like, I think you boys best be on your way. It's like, oh, I tell you, fuck, that was smelly. That fart was on my way, was on its way. Out my ass. <laughs> anyway, um, basically, like, Oh, we got here. It's like, that's dangerous. You better be off your way. You can't tell them. It's like, you better go, lads, and all this. And it's like, you just can't let them go. And it's like, you gotta let them go. And then it's like, you just can't let them go. They're like, go. Stay on the road. Beware the moon. It's like, oh, yeah, we will. We will. Beware the moon, lads. I'm like, right, bye. Let's go off. And they walk out. And they're like, unbelievable. That was crazy. Those people are crazy. And, and they're like, oh, God is with them now. And it's just this kind of... They actually care about them, like what's going on and as they're walking they're like yeah that's insane it's crazy like beware the mirrors like you don't believe that and great great shot a slaughtered lamb and it's like yeah sure and then they're walking through the grass it's like yeah that's amazing like this way it's like they stay stay on the path we're not on the path it's like it's like oh great rain oh this is brilliant weather it's like great come on it's like where are we going and then you get this amazing oh they're like what is that an amazing kind of like look it's like where are we and then like this just foggy atmosphere and you're kind of like what the fuck it's like what is that and it's like what is that and then out of nowhere ah, and the fucking effects of the werewolf like oh no jack and he gets attacked like no no and then jack gets a fucking gory bloody death he's like oh, it's fucked up and shit bitten fucking scraped that gory like oh, everywhere like no jack jack and then they run out like shooting at him shooting the fucking werewolf and then it's a person blood on them um, and like pick them up and they go and they bring them off and it's like such a fucking brilliant way to open the movie such a great prologue really to the film but um I love the little character moments in this film like I love the moment where they actually reference the wolfman which is a universal horror movie a universal monster and a universal dumbest movie where the wake up was like, what's going on with you, Jack? He's like, oh, or what's going on with you, David? It's like, oh, everything's fine. Did you ever see the wolf man? And it's like, the wolf man? It's like, that the one was like, no, 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 the old one. When in this, the guy gets, turns into a world, but he loves, but he has to die in order to do it. I don't know if I have to do it. And she's like, I don't know if you're completely crazy or you're just, or, or I find you really attractive. I'm, I'm half torn between finding you really crazy and finding you really attractive and the kiss like come on I'm serious you know they lie down and it's just all of that kind of shit and I love those kind of moments they're fun moments in the film um, then I also like the moment where the doctor drives to the pub it's like okay he walks in he's like opens the door he's like alright he's like hello and opens it and then he's like Hello, and everyone's like, what's going on? And it's like, can I have the pint, please? Like, sorry, we don't have that. It's like, I uh, have this, then. no, we don't have that either. It's like, pint of Guinness, please. You know, it's like, yes, Irish drinks. Fuck yeah. And the guy's like, what's going on here? It's like, so you get here much? It's like, no. Oh, that's great. It's like, well, what's that over there? It's like, oh, you best be on your way. And then he asked, like, what were two, were those two boys here? But there's two boys here. It's like, American boys. Like, yeah. It's like, I think you best be on your way. And it's like, what happened? Like, they were here. We told them to go. It's like, no, that's enough. They best be on your way now. And all that. It's like, it's dangerous. That boy. 
something happened to him, he's in hospital, you know, he's in danger or whatever. It's like, oh God, no. So we get those kind of moments and he's like, oh shit. So he's like, okay, so I best be off now. I was like, goes out. And then they're like, what, what's happening? We can't let them go out. You just can't let them go. It's like, we need to keep it safe. The word gets around here that we're all responsible. And they even said that as the two guys leave, they're like, we can't, we have nothing to do with them. It's like, I was like, we can't let what's happened, what we've done, affect it. It will make it draw. It will make it give this place a bad reputation and all that. And it's like, I love that kind of star called sign of it, and it's an original concept for a werewolf movie. So the guy is walking. The guy calls him over as Rain's like the little. He's like, hello, what's wrong? The little boy. The boy's in danger. You need to save him. He, before he can hurt people or himself, like what's happening? Something really bad's gonna happen at midnight. You got to do it. I'm sorry. I tried to warn him. Blah blah blah. He's like, what can we do? And then the guy's like, that's enough. That's enough, you. And runs over and all that. It's like okay. And then I love even when he drives and sees the tractor there with the tractor at the farm, the farm locations. Like lovely weather, isn't it? Or you know, or it's like terrible weather, isn't it? And same way earlier, um, when it's at the nighttime scenes, because like. I'm in the country now, so there's areas like that around. So it's kind of if it also adds to the creepiness because it's it felt homely as well. So it's like you got to stop him. Okay, you got to go. So he drives back to London, even though he's drinking. I better be off back to London. It's like best to be on your way now. It's like why are you drinking? And there's also like the candles on the the wall near the thing, and I thought that was brilliantly done as well. So nice atmosphere. But um. Then we get, like, as I said, one thing I love about the film is when he becomes a werewolf. You get that scene, of course, when he's at home by himself, and then you hear, I see a bad moon rising. He's listening to Bad Moon Rising, he's doing things, he's just kind of like doing different things to distract himself, drinking, eating, puts stuff down, you know, on the bed. Um, Even though that's an overused song, um, I mean, I auditioned for a movie called Bad Moon Rising, so yeah. But as he's there, he just starts going, no! and like this scene is fucking brilliant because it's realistic for where we get a shot in the moon and it's like, oh shit. And then the pain he feels, it's so well done. He's like, no! and he's like really sweaty. And then just the practical effects, like when he's like, no! and then he's like naked or whatever. And it's like, or not naked, but then, like, his fucking leg is getting all fucked up and hairy, and it's like, and his back, and just the practical effects, then his mouth's like, oh, you know, turning like that, it's like, oh, and the prosthetics in his eyes, and it's like, oh, and it's just this brilliant fucking realistic, well, practically, practical scene, not, not realistic, but, like, practical, seeing him in fucking pain, his acting is amazing, sells the pain well just turned into a werewolf like ah, and the nails like ah, ah, and then he just goes ah, and all that and then shit goes down it's like where's david i don't know like you know so they're all like Where, where's david where is he i can't find him and then he's like david where are you and then then you get to the point where david is the werewolf and starts kind of terrorizing the general public so there's people come like, come on, let's go. Are we ready to go? It's like, yes. Oh, let's go behind and we'll frighten them. It's like, hello, are you back there? Hello? Hello? And all that. And then it's like, what is that? And then you just go, ah! And, then they, and the werewolf's like, ah! Kills them. Gory deaths. And then it's like, oh God. And then there's a couple like, what's that? Is there something outside? It's like, no. It's like, oh, I think that's great. And they're all acting nice inside. It's like, that's amazing. They're kissing, whatever. They walk outside, they, and he's like, hello, and then he just comes, <laughs> attacks them, kills them, in gory deaths, and you're like, fucking hell. Um, Jeez, that fart was lovely, fucking hell. I gotta take a shit after this, but anyway, <laughs> sorry. So I get those moments, like, and different stuff happens, like, oh God, and then, as he's going through London, killing people, you know, random people. There's a guy on a subway like, oh God, when's the next train and all that kind of stuff. And he's just, you know, just kind of looking and it's just there at night. And then he just hit, hears some go, hello? Hello? 
whatever this is, I don't find this the least bit amusing. So he's just walking or whatever. And then you see the werewolf walk. It's like, oh no, no. He's like, no. And then he's just like, Aah! and then you just get these great jump scares of him going, Aah! you know. And then he's coming after him. He's like, no, no. And then he, he like scrapes him. He's like falling over like, oh shit. And then he's, he's like trying to go down the escalator and he's just walking up really slowly. He's like, no, no, no. And he's just walking up. He's not getting up and running. You're like, dude, get the fuck up and run. But he's just walking. He's like, no, no, no. And it like, kills him. And it's such an amazing sequence. Like, where's David? I can't find him anywhere. And like, that's when Jenny Agutter and the guy out there is like, David's in danger. We got to get to him. Like, What's wrong with him? Is he okay? It's like, yeah, where is he? He's back at my house. We got to check up on him. Okay, we got to find out where he is. Do that. And like, everyone's wondering. And you feel the pain and the, the worry of, oh God, where is he? Because I've actually been in a situation where I was lost. And my parents were like, where the fuck are you? Like, and bunch of my friends so that's what happened with that um but yeah like that, it's just a brilliant scene and the gore and practical effects and the the makeup of the werewolf it's just so brilliantly done like it looks like that and it's just great it's practical and just the way it moves and it's like ah, and the pain effects it's just a fucking horror classic and it's like they don't do that in the like this in movies and nowadays like it's just brilliantly done um so yeah um, I'm going to finish this review up in a few minutes. I just have to kind of cut the camera off because it's going to fucking cut off again. I hate when it does this, but I'll be back in a sec. One second.